Yeah. We're standing here on Dame Street, right in front of Trinity College, and to my left is the old Irish Parliament. Right behind me, there was a statue of King William of Orange, the famed victor in the Battle of the Boyne in July 1690. King William is also known as Dutch Billy. He was a Protestant, happened to be a Protestant. Uh, King James II, of course, was a Catholic. So naturally, most people would think that uh, the Catholics would have all supported King James and the Protestants all supported King William. On the contrary, the Pope at the time, Pope Innocent XI, he contributed money towards uh, 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 William's army, so the raising of William's army. Uh, the Pope had special hymns called Te Deums sung when he heard about the uh, victory that William had over uh, uh, King James. On the 1st of July, 1701, the authorities raised a statue to King William. It was the very first statue to go up in Dublin, an equestrian statue, designed by Grinling Gibbons. There were huge parades. The corporation and the Lord Lieutenant, they provided free drink for the people who were celebrating it. The Boyne Society were here as well. They marched three times around King William's statue. Later on, King William became much more a symbol of the Orange Order, which was founded around about 100 years later. The Orange Order, of course, symbolized orange intransigence and to a certain extent, it became very much the dominating force in uh, society in Dublin in the early 20th century and in the six counties throughout the 20th century. In uh, fairness, it was probably one of the more abused statues in Dublin, often suffering attacks from all places of uh, Trinity College. There are stories of a couple of Trinity College students who were arrested for daubing mud on King William's face and they were forced to stand outside the statue with uh, signs explaining to uh, the public what they had done and they were suspended from college. There, are also, there is also a great story of uh, King William's uh, um, scepter being stolen by another Trinity student. But, uh, my favourite of all is the student who was suspended from college for drinking a toast to William's horse Sorel who threw him to his death. It, 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 it was never uh, very popular at all. And uh, in 1929, the IRA decided to attempt to blow it up. But a horse, by its very physical nature, is a very difficult object to blow up because where is the, the, the charge going to go? And all the IRA succeeded in doing was to turn William's horse from a, a, a stallion into a gelding or a mare, if you follow. But it, it was enough to have it taken down uh, to be repaired. However, it was held in a corporation storage where King William's head was uh, unceremoniously sawed off and possibly sold for scrap because the, the, the head was solid iron, so it would have been worth a few bob to somebody, a few points anyway. Um, in 1966, a statue to Thomas Davis was erected in its place. Tom Davis, of course, was one of the Young Irelanders, editor of the Nation newspaper. He also wrote one of our more famous ballads, A Nation Once Again. And Davis is probably a much more apt um, uh, symbol to have in Dublin because he preached the uniting of Protestant and Catholic and dissenter together. He preached that we were all Irish, whether we lived here for one week or whether we lived here for 10 years or 500 years, that you are Irish no matter what your uh, religion.